Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, man. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, man. It's all about setting the record straight, stopping the lies, stopping the narratives. And one of these narratives we're going to stop, I heard this morning. Once again, shout out to my man, Stofia, for sending me this on Instagram. I saw this this morning, and I had to react to this. It was like one of those knee-jerk reactions. I got to react to this because it's insane the things that these people are allowed to say on social media. They just say these things, and they say it with their chest out. They say it with a lot of bravado, and they sound ridiculous, man. And this LeBron James fool, I don't know his name. I don't know the channel, whatever the hell it was. It doesn't even matter. It's irrelevant. But this fool said that LeBron James was never the quote-unquote Robin and he was always a Batman. And he was saying how Kobe Bryant was a Robin because he played with Shaq. And he really tried to make this case that LeBron James is ne was never a Robin. LeBron James is always Batman. He came into the league number one pick. He had all this pressure. He was always the main guy, blah, 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 blah. And he started talking all this stuff. And, and he, he said it with his chest out. Like he was saying something accurate. Like he was saying something educational. Like he was saying something inspirational, right? And once again, he sound like an idiot, like most LeBron James fans do. Because I told you, when you're a LeBron James fan, you have to drink the Kool-Aid. You have to fall in line with these lies and narratives. LeBron James was never the Robin. He was always a Batman. That sounds insane. Once again, you're not being in touch with reality. You're not trying to live in reality. And we're going to talk about this video. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel, guys. Once again, I am truly humble, guys. You guys know the deal, man. Shout out to everybody in the membership. We must continue to stand up, man. We must continue to do this, guys. And thank you for rolling with me. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. That's right, guys. Educational purposes, man. Because these LeBron James fans ain't educate anybody. I'm telling you right now, man. These fools with their podcasts and their, you know, their, their, uh, Social media fan club pages. These dudes are a bunch of idiots, man. I swear they won't tell you the facts. They they refuse to hold on to integrity anymore. Integrity is something that's lost, guys. I'm telling you right now, it's lost. If you have integrity, you're you're like a dying breed out here. These guys have no honor, no class. The things that they say are classless, and they're not honorable because they're lying about grown men. They're lying about professional athletes. Thirty years after these guys retired, they want to lie and take these guys and rewrite history, bend reality, and we won't allow us to continue. You know that. That's why I'm here to expose these fools. And this fool, like I said, shout out to my man Stofia. Send me this on Instagram. I saw it this morning. And this fool was talking about LeBron James ain't never had it been no Robin. And LeBron James never Robin. Look, Kobe Bryant was a Robin. He played with Shaq. Blah 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 blah. LeBron James was never Robin. He was never a Robin. He was always Batman. He had all the pressure. He had to do this. He had to do that. And I started laughing. I was shaking my head listening to this. Because once again, this stuff makes me cringe, man. I, I, can't, I can't listen to this stuff. I'm telling you right now, it's almost impossible to keep up with all the idiotic statements that people make on a daily basis. And the problem I have, or one of the problems, or the main problem I have, is that these people say this like they're spitting the truth. They got their chest all pumped out. They say it with the bravado. They say it like they're, they're sports and fitness rants, yelling it. But you sound idiotic. When these fools come to my channel and try to tell me that I'm just some dude yelling and I'm not saying anything, you sound ridiculous. This is why you guys make those comments. You cannot expose me. You can't do, you cannot say anything about it. You can't dispute me. You just say I'm yelling. But the problem for you guys is, is that I'm out here yelling the facts. I'm spitting the facts to you. This is why you can't dispute it. When you hear these guys yell and they try to talk all crazy, they're not saying it. They sound ridiculous because they're talking straight lies. They're bending the reality of the history of the NBA. And they expose themselves as either not wanting to remember the history of the NBA or what I tell you guys. They're being disingenuous. They're not going to tell you the truth. They won't let you form your own opinion off the truth, off the reality. They're going to give you a bunch of lies and narratives. So when you form your opinion, your opinion is twisted because you didn't form off the facts, off reality. So let's think about this now when he says that LeBron James was never the quote-unquote Robin. Never the Robin. Uh, now, we know where this came from, the Batman-Robin analogy. This all started with the Michael Jordan and the Scottie Pippen stuff, right? They call Scottie Pippen the greatest Robin of all time, right? Oh, he's the greatest sidekick. And that's how that really came about, people using the Batman and Robin analogy. It really started, started with the Jordan and Pippen thing. And we all know that years later, Scottie Pippen act like he don't appreciate the Robin moniker or the, or the sidekick, you know, nickname. He don't want to be the sidekick. But the problem is for Scottie Pippen or people like that who think of, oh, remember the Robin moniker, why it was done, is because it was a two different dynamics. 
Michael Jordan, once again, was always the leader of the Chicago Bulls. He was the unquestioned leader. Not Phil Jackson, not Scottie Pippen, not Jerry Krause or Jerry Reinsdorf, not Dennis Rodman or Tony Kukos or Ron Harper or Bill Cartwright. It was always Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was the enforcer on that team, not a Horace Grant or Dennis Rodman, it was Michael Jordan. He was the enforcer on the Bulls. Remember, he held the standard. He enforced the standard for the Chicago Bulls. So when we think about the Batman and Robin uh, nicknames and how it came about, Scottie Pippen, a lot of these people feel, uh, failed to, to realize. Why is, well, why was Robin labeled a sidekick? What is a sidekick, right? They're there to help and assist the main character, the leader. They're the leaders. The psychics are not the leaders. Maybe they don't have leadership qualities. They don't have the skills of leadership. And once again, why was Batman Batman? Why was Michael Jordan Michael Jordan and Robin Robin and Scottie Pippen Scottie Pippen? Because Michael Jordan, when it mattered most, when it came time for the crunch time, Michael Jordan was a guy who always raised his level of play. He raised it. This is why he developed that reputation. This is why he was Batman. He was the closer. He was a guy that could always raise the level of play. He never backed down from anything. He didn't shy away from this stuff. He wasn't scared out there. It was Michael Jordan. Everyone leaned on him. So how can Scottie Pippen, the Robin, be the Batman, be a leader when you're leaning on Michael Jordan? You're literally leaning on someone else. You're leaning on the leader. And that's what you're supposed to be able to do. A leader should be someone you can lean on. And be a true leader. Remember, Michael Jordan took the blame away from Scottie Pippen and these other guys. He didn't push the blame onto them. That's why he's Batman. Batman takes the blame. Batman don't put the blame on Robin, the sidekick. That's not what a sidekick's there to do. That's why Batman's there. To take the responsibility, the blame. So now when we think about this dynamic, and he talks about LeBron James was never the Robin. Let's think about LeBron James' career. See, these guys get confused. They think like, oh, LeBron James was never on a team where he was the Robin. They, they confuse this stuff because he was. But let's go through this. Would you say that LeBron James was the Robin on the Miami Heat? I think we can say that LeBron James was the Robin on the 2011 Miami Heat, the first year in Miami. Let's think about the NBA Funk. Once again, the 2011 NBA Funk. It's haunts LeBron James to this day. Those are his words. The reason why Dwayne Wade was the leader in those finals, the reason why Dwayne Wade was the leader after that on the Heat and why LeBron James could be seen as the quote-unquote Robin is because quite simply, if you remember, after the 2011 finals, it was Dwayne Wade who in fact said he studied Michael Jordan film. He went back to the lab in the offseason and studied Michael Jordan film. This is what Dwayne Wade said. He studied Michael Jordan film to learn how to play off the ball. And why did he do that? He said, to help LeBron James become more successful so that he could be successful, right? So Dwayne Wade adjusted his game to help LeBron James because he knows LeBron James can't adapt his game. He never's done it. So Dwayne Wade sacrificed that for LeBron James. Does that sound like a Robin to you? That sounds like a Batman thing to me. Look, Dwayne Wade, as a leader, as a Batman, sacrificed himself, his own game, his numbers, his play style to help his sidekick, right? LeBron Robin James, okay? That shows that LeBron James was a sidekick to Dwayne Wade in Miami. Remember, it was Dwayne Wade who was the unquestioned leader on those teams, guys. He was the Batman. LeBron James was the Robin. See, these guys, they look at the numbers. Oh, LeBron James averaged this many points. He scored more points than Dwayne Wade. So he was in and with the numbers. It's the leadership of a Dwayne Wade that LeBron James still doesn't have. Still ain't found the leadership. So Dwayne Wade sacrificed and he helped LeBron James out, right? Once again, he helped LeBron James become successful because LeBron James couldn't help him. He couldn't even help himself, but he's Batman. So one, so right there in Miami, LeBron James gets exposed as being a Robin or excuse me, being a Batman over Dwayne Wade. Where was he in 2011? Once again, he wasn't there. He folded up because he was not a Batman, right? He was out there playing Robin and Dwayne Wade was out there being Batman and LeBron James couldn't help him out. So LeBron James couldn't even beat Robin for Dwayne Wade in 2011. He couldn't even do that. He he shrunk. He disappeared and caused Dwayne Wade a championship and a finals MVP. But the LeBron James fans, this fool that was saying that, they won't bring that up. So that's one example right there of LeBron James easily being a Batman, uh, a Robin to Dwayne Wade's Batman. Let's think about the uh, 2012, I believe it was 2012. I think it was the 2012 All-Star game with uh, Kobe Bryant going at LeBron James. And this guy was talking about how Kobe Bryant was always a Robin and 
blah, 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 because he played with Shaq. Once again, we're talking about the mentality here of Kobe Bryant. Robin did not have the mentality of a Batman, right? He did not have the mentality of a Batman. Kobe Bryant always had the mentality of a Batman, of a Superman, as of a leader. Shaquille O'Neal did not have that. He was never a leader, Shaquille O'Neal, right? He never was. This is why Shaq didn't take uh, bring, coming into camp in shape serious. He didn't take it serious. And that's why he underachieved ultimately. So Kobe Bryant always had the Batman mentality, even though Shaq might have been winning the finals MVPs in that three-peat. Let's not shortchange Kobe Bryant and what he was doing on both sides of the ball on the court. He was doing some things. They act like Kobe Bryant was sitting on the bench averaging 10 minutes a game. The dude was out there balling, right? So once again, it's the same thing. The mentality is different. But let's think about that 2012 All-Star game when Kobe Bryant was calling out LeBron James, calling him out, calling him out. Remember, after the 2011 debacle, that next season, the All-Star game, everyone was putting the pressure on LeBron James, right? Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, Kobe Bryant, they were calling LeBron James out because he was out there playing timid, playing scared, not being a Batman, being a straight Robin. If we think about the 2008 USA Olympic team, guys, is that LeBron James being a Batman? No. We all remember what happened in 04, right? Young LeBron James, that this guy was talking and came into the league. Yo, Le uh, LeBron James came to the league. He was ready to go. Kobe Bryant came to the league. He had to play behind Eddie Jones. This dude said Eddie that LeBron James wouldn't, be, wouldn't have been behind Eddie Jones in the eighth grade or the tenth grade, he said. Some nonsense. Once again, a hyperbolic statement, trying to talk with his chest out, but ain't saying nothing. Not understanding the history of the game and how the game was played. You had to earn it in the 90s. You had to earn your spot. LeBron James came into the NBA playing, yeah. But he didn't lead the team to any playoffs. He didn't even make an all-star team his first year. So this whole idea that LeBron James came in the NBA running like, like Michael Jordan, it's false. It's a lie. He did not. But if we go and think about that 2004 uh, USA team, right? They get the bronze medal. Was LeBron James a Batman on that team? No, he wasn't a Batman. He was a straight Robin on that team, wasn't he? He was no Batman on that team. And what do they say? Oh, LeBron James was only in his first season. He was still young. He was 20 years old. But you said he came into the league as Batman. He was never Robin. He obviously wasn't Robin then. He wasn't a he wasn't a Batman on the 2004 Olympic team. Was he the best on the team? No, I was probably Alan Iverson or Tim Duncan. Not LeBron James though. So he was playing a Robin role on that team because he didn't play Batman. He didn't lead them to a, a silver or gold medal. So we think about the 2008 uh, USA team when Kobe Bryant came essentially to save these guys, to save them, the embarrassment that was going on. He was the Batman out there. He was the alpha. Everyone says it. Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James said it. Everyone knew Kobe Bryant was the Batman, the alpha on that team, so to speak. The Superman. And LeBron James was playing a role. He was playing a role of Robin. He was a sidekick on that Olympic team. His fans don't want to talk about that in 2008. That was LeBron James being a Robin, being a sidekick to Kobe Bryant's greatness. To Batman. It was Kobe Bryant come and save these fools. He was the one that practiced first thing in the morning before everybody else got there, covered in sweat. He was the one leading by example, being the Batman. So that's another example of LeBron James being a Robin, a sidekick. In the 2016 NBA Finals, guys, Kyrie Irving averaged 27 points a game, outplayed the unanimous MVP, and made one of the greatest shots in NBA Finals history. All meanwhile, LeBron James was standing around in the corner when Kyrie Irving made that shot. If you guys remember that game, game seven, LeBron James did not score in the last like two or three minutes. No one could score. Steph Curry didn't score. LeBron James didn't score. No one scored. The, the game was just stuck on a score. For all these minutes at the end of the game, it was Kyrie Irving. Who they gave the ball to. You guys remember what happened before that play? Do you guys remember? Watch the video. What you'll see is Ty Lue drove a play for LeBron James. And LeBron James deferring to Kyrie Irving, saying, no, give the ball to Kyrie Irving. And why did LeBron James say that? Because he was Batman? No, because he was playing the role of Robin. Kyrie Irving was the Batman. Remember, the part of the reason why Michael Jordan was you know, the leader was a Batman, a Superman, right? He wasn't a sidekick or the help. It's because Michael Jordan always raised the level of play. He came through when it mattered most. He didn't shy away from the moment, right? 
that goes to him being great, his leadership. That was never a Scotty Pippen. This way, Scotty Pippen was the help. He was the sidekick. You see what I'm saying, guys? This what separates the great players from the legendary players, the top 10, 20 guys. These guys raise their level of play, right? They galvanize their teammates through leadership, building their confidence up. That's what a Batman does. He builds up the confidence of Robin. He gives Robin that confidence. Robin's greater because of Batman and the way he made him feel. Scottie Pippen was greater because of Michael Jordan. And I told you guys, Michael Jordan was greater with Scottie Pippen, not because of Scottie Pippen. Okay? So with them on Kyrie Irving taking that shot and they drove the play and LeBron James says, hey, give the ball to Kyrie Irving. Right there, expose LeBron James as a Batman. A Batman's going to take it. A Batman's going to want it. And they'll say what? Oh, LeBron James was making the right play. He knows. Exactly. He knows that he ain't that dude. You're not Batman, especially at the end of games. So LeBron James might be Batman for the first three and a half quarters. But then the last four or five minutes, the last two, three minutes, he's not Batman. He's Robin. Kyrie Irving took the Batman role. They reverse roles. This is why LeBron James has never been a true Batman, a true Superman like a Michael Jordan. That was never Kobe Bryant shying away from the moment. And what do they say for Kobe Bryant? Oh, Kobe Bryant took bad shots. He forced up shots. LeBron James makes the right play. Makes the right play. Once again, this is LeBron James shying away from the moment. All game long, LeBron James, the man, taking all these shots, driving the lane, looking outstanding. And then all of a sudden, the last three minutes, you change? That's how LeBron James making the right play. That's LeBron James shrinking in the moment, being scared of the moment, and understanding he ain't that dude. Kyrie Irving was. So LeBron James stood in the corner. This wasn't like LeBron James was dribbling the ball and setting up Kyrie Irving. LeBron James didn't drive the lane and kick out to Kyrie Irving for a wide open three. LeBron James literally stood in the corner blowing on his hands while Kyrie Irving sized up Steph Curry and took the shot right in his face. LeBron James had no, no bearing on that play. But that's Batman? That's Batman standing in the corner while Robin does all the work? <laughs> no way. No how. So once again, exposed. And let's think about right now. Is LeBron James the Batman for the Lakers? Has LeBron James ever been Batman on the Lakers? No, he has not. He's been robbing on the Lakers, and this is what I've been telling you guys. Anthony Davis has been the best player on the Lakers since he's been there. Anthony Davis saved LeBron James and the Lakers by requesting a trade and coming to that team. Saved LeBron James. So, Robin saved Batman? No. LeBron James has never been Batman in LA, guys. Never been Batman. Batman, listen, LeBron James don't even get the respect of a Batman. They vandalize his mural. Batman gets respect because he earns the respect. No, not LeBron James. He didn't earn the respect of a Batman. So he's been a sidekick. He's been a Robin to Anthony Davis in L.A. So as you guys can see, I mean, think about it. LeBron James, I say, is Batman, but he don't play no defense. He's standing around on defense. Is Batman going to stand around and let Robin do all the work? No. Anthony Davis doing all the work on defense, saving him. So Anthony Davis is clearly the Batman for the Lakers, and LeBron James is his sidekick. But that'll talk about LeBron James looking like he's 20 years old out there still. Don't make no sense. No standard for LeBron James. And so as you guys can see, LeBron James gets the Batman hype, but he's a Robin with Batman hype. Many points in his career I pointed out, guys. LeBron James is not Batman. At the end of these games, LeBron James ain't Batman. He's Robin. Where was LeBron James in the 2009 Eastern Conference Finals against Dwight Howard? Was he Batman in, those, in, those, in, those, in, those, in that series? No, he wasn't. He got outplayed by Dwight Howard. He got outplayed by Hidu Turkoglu. Hidu Turkoglu. And that's no knock on Hidu Turkoglu. He's a solid player. But come on, man. The Cavs were the favorite. They were talking about LeBron James was the favorite. They were the favorite in that series. It didn't win. So really, I told you guys, what does being the favorite matter? It means nothing. You got to go out there and show and prove. Hidu Turkoglu did. LeBron James didn't. They didn't do it. He got beat down. He didn't guard Dwight Howard. Remember, he can guard one through five. He didn't guard Dwight Howard. LeBron James had many opportunities to guard other players at other positions, to prove that guard one through five. He never did. He could have guarded Dirk Nowitzki in 2011. He didn't do it. He could have guarded Kevin Durant in 2017. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. 
Dude couldn't even guard Draymond Green. If the if the, if the Warriors win the, the game in Game 7, if they win that game in 2016 in Game 7, Draymond Green was going to be the Finals MVP, guys. Their man put up what, almost a 30-point triple-double in Game 7. All LeBron James. <laughs> he don't play defense. Remember, guys, LeBron James has got Batman hype, but he's been robbing with the Batman hype. Many times in his career, this man was Robin, not Batman. But they want to talk about he was never Batman. He was never Robin. He was always a Batman. What world are you guys living in? You won't live in reality. And this is why you guys sound crazy. Yo, so shout out to all my supporters out there, man. Thank you guys again. You guys, you guys know the deal, man. You guys know. I've seen you guys in these polls voting, man. You guys know, man. So the education's working. LeBron James always the Batman. No, he wasn't. He was not always the Batman. He's been the Robin many, many times in his career, guys. Many times. And he continues to have Robin qualities, Robin tendencies, right? Robin attributes, Robin intangibles. He's not a leader, no sportsmanship. He's a sore loser. He's not a true competitor, a sportsman. That would be Batman. That's not LeBron James. Batman ain't walking off the court early. That's LeBron James, though. Batman ain't always crying for help. That's LeBron James. Batman don't make no excuses, man. That's LeBron James, man. That's a sidekick mentality. That's a victim mentality. That ain't Batman. Batman ain't no damn victim. So you guys know the deal, man. These are the facts here. These are the facts. LeBron James has been the Robin more often than he's been the Batman. That's why he's 4-6 and six in the finals, guys. The 4-6 record speaks for itself. But they excuse it. Oh, he's playing against a super team. He's playing against... It's always an excuse. The excuse, there is no... It's LeBron James. It's on him. You guys know the deal, man. I can just on the next one.